December 26th. I've got about an hour and 10, 15 minutes. And I'm gonna pull over at a Walmart store, 24 hour where I can park there for the evening. There's no rushing going where I'm going. Maybe I can walk through that store, testify to a few people. It's like people just don't want to hear the truth no more, you know? And if you look at the written word of God, what's in that Bible today, where you read where he tells everybody, take your offerings away from me. I don't even want to smell them. I don't want to hear your music, your praising, nothing. That was written for us today, for where we're living. The words Jesus spoke, that was spoken for us today for the way things are going and Jesus said the dead will take care of the dead man I look at these churches on my right and on my left I see the church but I also see a huge cemetery around it they're literally putting their dead in their church the dead will take care of the dead churches are dead when uh, I tried sharing with that lady that came out of church yesterday and I shared, showed her the uh, photo with the angel blowing the trumpet over my head she said oh that's cool that really looks neat I said well it's a message I said I'm trying to tell you what's getting ready to happen I said you see the angel the white horse in the bathtub it's where you got to be washed by the blood of Christ and he's coming on a white horse okay that's what's written in the Bible and uh, I told her I said all this stuff is an illusion man I said yeah Jesus came here to overcome the world not to create more holidays the devil creates these holidays Satan Santa look at the lettering it's all the same. It's there. It's in front of you. And people saying December 25th is Christ when he was born. That's why they celebrate Christmas. Or was Christmas created when Santa came along? Santa. Claus. The Claus. He comes down the chimney like a thief. Okay. Jesus said to be watch. He said to watch. You know, even though Russia, whatever their religions are over there, it's funny how they just happened to... Remember I told you all those orbs you see them moving around me? Our bodies are the temple of God where the Holy Spirit dwells with us. Well, let me tell you something. These demonic spirits, they're in the people, your enemies. And this whole thing's about souls. It's always been about souls and uh, they named their missile which is capable of carrying 10 nuclear warheads and they call it Satan and 10 of them it's enough to destroy a state the size of Texas this is getting ready to happen that's why I said in one hour this nation will be done finished I seen a great shaking coming Remember, he said he'll try to go find that one lost sheep until that wedding is furnished. And then we're going. We're getting ready to go. It's at hand. I told you I had a dream about that shaking. I also had a dream about uh, hearing an engine. Man, it was so loud it was hurting my ears like somebody was revving the engine. Boom! Boom! And it hurt my ears. And then all of a sudden I heard, Mark! Like that right there, like, you know, there's no more time. There's no more time. Get ready. When this earth, when this is split apart, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, they're all going under the water. That dream I had of uh, an iceberg floating up on an island in the South Pacific. I just heard the other day a big old crack happened in uh, Alaska someplace where it's going it's bigger than a whole state and it's separated from there now so it's probably gonna start floating away you know 
this wave of energy that's coming in we don't have an ozone that wave of energy that's what's going to take us out of here in the twinkling of the eye things are changing and manifesting right now in front of us but most people can't see it i see it plainly man i mean it's the evil happening in front of us everybody wanting their devil worshiping stuff none of these churches are stepping up or speaking up that's because they're still trying to guess the day he was the day that jesus christ was born while they're celebrating christmas July, uh, december 25th like that's the day christ was born doesn't make sense you know people are celebrating you know jesus didn't come here to celebrate holidays he came here to overcome the world what was in it and then he said to follow me and then he pointed to his disciples and he said those are my brothers and my sisters and you guys know even in the bible he said a lot of these people are the children of the devil my brothers and my sisters i don't call them everybody my brothers and my sisters i don't but a lot of these people in the church say oh we're all brothers and sisters in christ you know they're even if they're living adulterers and sinners they're still our brothers and sisters that ain't what jesus said jesus pointed at his disciples when his own mother and family was trying to come see him and he said those are my brothers and sisters he pointed at his disciples and why did he point at them because they were following him not the world that's what, that was his message to everybody there. People, his own family couldn't get near him because there were so many people there. He didn't point at everybody though, did he? How many people escaped Sodom and Gomorrah? Or how many people escaped uh, uh, in the days of Noah? I mean, I'm passing up all these churches, church after church after church after church after church. They're just everywhere. And I see cemeteries in them. I guess the dead that are dying, they want to be buried as close to the church as possible. And Jesus, I know he said, the dead will take care of the dead. And when I try to share with a lot of these churches, that angel blowing the trumpet, they don't want it, they don't care. They don't care. Even in the end days, when Jesus said, I'll pour my spirit out on people and I'll have people prophesizing what's coming, what's gonna happen. In my description box, you'll find uh, the video, Daniel McNeil, his testament, okay? His last video. You'll also see Lexi's dream in there. And then uh, I'll include uh, Ken Peters, uh, his encouragement words, you know, for those that overcome. For those that overcome to let go of this okay we we're gonna start seeing things happening now it's gonna start happening if it don't happen by the end of this month it's coming it's soon it's so soon let me tell you something man when i heard that engine revving really loud that engine's this earth man it's heating up when that explosion happens man this place is gonna move from side to forth like it says like a drunkard so we go to and fro just like a drunkard staggers because i've seen that too in a dream about a week ago something like that hurry it up better hurry it up and get there you got time you ain't got much time you got a rest area here one mile probably pull over here and stretch and load this up Junction 22 You guys I hope and pray that you're gonna be ready for this And No, Jesus didn't come here to give you holidays to celebrate and stuff. He came here to overcome the world To overcome what's in the world Because he knew Satan was a liar and a great deceiver He said friends of this world is an enmity with God Okay so I hope you don't have that same sight for what's in this world. I hope that your eyes are seeing the truth now. Because we don't have much longer. Julie, you don't have long. Just hold tight, okay? Just hold tight. 
You know, if you got people around you, they get, they're under, uh, their minds are fading away. The Lord will take care of them. Don't have to try to convince somebody that you can't convince. You might just be putting fuel out of fire. Okay? Don't make it worse or harder on yourself than you have to. Because, uh, it's going to be difficult. You don't want it to be difficult. Okay? It's bad enough already. You do not want to, uh, in a quarter mile, turn right onto US 82 West. You do not want to, uh, you don't want to make it any worse than it is. Okay? This is all getting ready to come to an end. You know, my dreams, everything that told me that. When that engine was roaring, ribbing up like that, I heard a voice right at the end. It said, Mark! Like that, and it woke me up really quick, you know, like with that engine roaring like that. And I was thinking, what was that engine? You know, and I heard a video. I was on my last video where the guy was speaking about how this earth is like an engine. And it's heating up. See, what I heard was revving up. Revving up. Like, whoom! 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 Yeah, and then I heard, Mark! You know, in other words, it's good. when it goes pop, that's when it's going to go like this. You know what I mean? That's what I seen. I was looking up and I was looking at the stars and I was like, wow. You know, that those things are moving, but it wasn't the stars. It was the earth that was going to and fro. Okay. The Lord gives me visions, but they're short. Okay. He doesn't make them complicated. And they're not hard to understand. That engine that I heard revving and revving and revving, that's getting ready to happen. Pop! And that's when the earth is going to stagger like this. It was two separate dreams, you know, but, you know, same thing. That's what's getting ready to happen. People are celebrating uh, Satan's Day. Jesus didn't come here to celebrate uh, holidays. He didn't. He came here to overcome. It, read it. It says it in the Bible. It says those that overcome. He said he didn't come here to celebrate holidays. He told us to, uh, uh, the Sabbath, you know, to recognize the Sabbath day. You know, we're supposed to relax, not work, take it easy. You know, a day of rest. But, you know, when Jesus left here 2,000 years ago, it was just two days ago to him. So he, to him, he was coming right back. I'll be right back. Okay, to him. I'll be right back. Well, time's up. That's what all that knocking was. Hearing a knocking on the door. Paul McCartney wrote a song, said someone's knocking at the door and someone's ringing a bell. Well, Satan's ringing a bell. They're called hell's bells. And a lot of people are... Uh, Hearing that, here answering that door. You know, and let me tell you something, man. Jesus Christ is at the door, too. And he said, I came here to overcome what's in the world. And why is it when I walk into these churches and they're trying to figure out the day Christ was born, but yet they're celebrating Christmas, Santa Claus, on the 25th, like they know. But yet you go to these churches and they're saying, does anybody know when he was born? They just want to see how dead everybody is. You know? Because they're not bringing up, well, why do we celebrate Christmas on the 25th then? If nobody knows when he was born. Matter of fact, why are we even celebrating Christmas? I don't think Jesus said that we should celebrate Christmas. I think that's something Satan came up with after Jesus went to the cross. When Jesus was lifted up off the earth, Satan said, oh, I got to come up with another something to overcome that. He's got a lot of deceptions out here, man. Satan's been working full time, no stop, non stop. You know, when they said Jesus had to get out of the schools, the government, and all that stuff, man, they didn't say Satan had to get out. So that left Satan with the full reign, man. They didn't say the devil had to get out, not once. I didn't hear it. If he did, I didn't hear it. I know I didn't hear it. 
You guys, God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray that you get something out of this message. Please look in the description box. If you haven't already seen the videos, please check them out. And uh, I'll probably be posting their new update videos on here too. Okay, they'll be in the description box. So check all the description boxes while we still are here. You know, because uh, Ken Peters, one of his videos, he said um, after the rapture happened, when people will go up, go missing, the internet's going to be down for like two weeks, something like that. There won't be no power, no television, nothing. You know, everything's going to be down. And see, we got an energy wave coming here right now. Okay, he's going to take us out of here and it's probably going to shut everything down. God said our ways are silly to him. What we do here is silly. Yeah, but he's not going to leave his chosen ones here for the wrath. That's why it says in St. Luke 21, verse 34 through 36, it says, Pray to be worthy, to be found worthy to escape what's about to happen. Okay? And then uh, it also says uh, in Revelation 3, 8 through 12, Because thou hast not denied my name, uh, I'm going to spare thee the, the moment of trial that's coming upon the whole earth. You don't hear too many people speaking about that. You know? You just don't hear it. But that's what's getting ready to happen, okay? Also, in Matthew 22, it says he's going to send his armies down here to destroy a lot of stuff because they weren't worthy. And then he says to go out into the highways and bid them to the wedding. So, I, you know, with that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see something happen. We could see something happen. You know? That dream where I heard that engine ro roaring up. And everybody knows the earth is heating up right now like an engine. A big engine. We got those waves coming in. We have no ozone. The ozone's gone. Okay? My dreams are clear about what's getting ready to happen. The shaking to and fro. You know? I know what's getting ready to happen. And then when I heard that engine revving up. And then uh, howling, Mark! In other words, something was telling me I need to get out of Alabama. I need to be out of Georgia because this place isn't going to, it's going to go under. It's going to go under. This is getting ready to happen. And most people here are asleep. They don't care. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear the message. But that's, you know, don't matter. We're going to keep putting these videos out. Please check the description box. God bless you. I hope and pray that you all got something out of this. Uh, remember, anybody new seeing this, um, all you have to do is come to the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in what he did on the cross, okay? Know that he was raised after three days and that you're covered by the blood of Christ. That's our seal, okay? That's our anointment, okay? We, we turn away from the world, let go of what's in this world because it's going to pass. It's going to pass away. I read all these things to you guys already. You know, so you guys have no illusions about this stuff. You know it. You know, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. This is 1 John 2, 15. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abideth forever. Okay? it's a lot of good readings in here, man. They're not ear ticklers, you know. But they're good words. They're, they're, they're salvation words. You know, those are, that's what's going to get us to our Father in heaven. Okay? Hmm. All right, you guys. God bless each and every one of you, man. Everything's happening on a time... Uh, according to time. I was looking at the video when I got ready to cut it off and I said their salvation words. It was 911. You know. Everything we do is based on time. On time. Why do you think God knows everything we're going to do from the beginning to the end? Everything. Why do you think he told us to watch? He didn't tell us to celebrate holidays. He told us to watch. Because the devil's a liar and a deceiver. 
There's a lot of deception going on around us, man. Remember, that's why you see that video with those orbs floating around me and everything. The angels that are protecting us. See, the Holy Spirit's in us. And if the Holy Spirit's in us, man, you can be sure the angels are around us too, man. They're sticking close to us, man, because that Holy Spirit's there with us. Okay? And if you don't have that with you, then there's a good chance you got a demon in you. And you're under strong delusion right now. Please check the description box. God bless each and every one of you.